very good afternoon abhipray agarwal yeah, welcome afternoon. to the top of stack thank you uh, first of all many congratulations for achieving all india rank 76 so mm -hmm. many congratulations from the whole medizi team we are very happy uh, from our side so first of all just introduce yourself and uh, when you started the preparation and uh, when you started the gate journey so so i am from bareilly and i have completed uh, my btech from uh, jss academy noida so i passed mm -hmm. out in 2021 and mm -hmm. it was the very first time i attempted gate in gate 2021 itself mm -hmm. so so majority of my preparation started in my final year of college and uh, I secured a rank approximate to 1400 and from that rank I got into triple IT Delhi. I completed my master's in 2023 and from the past two years I am working as a security engineer in Dell Technologies. So, mm -hmm. so my main motivation of uh, writing gate exam this year was as this was my second attempt. So, so it was like as you know all that gate scorecard is valid for three years. And uh, after that, it's no longer valid. So that was the reason, like, I was not able to attempt a couple of government exams. So mm -hmm. that was a major point. Like, I thought, like, I fill, filled up the form and decided to, like, I will write gate this year. Now, when I fill, filled the form, I thought, like, why I am doing this? Because I already, I'm already at the point where students write the gate exam, right? So to... Mm -hmm get mtech degree from a good call good college get a good placement so why i am going in backward direction now after filling up the form i thought like uh, i have to create another option of getting into a government job role and uh, if i am writing the exam why not go for the very best i don't want yes. like i don't want like getting a 200 rank or 300 rank because that will not help the purpose uh, so that was the main motivation I got. Like I have to write gate this year, and luckily I got all India rank seventy six. Now from this rank or end gate score, I have not yet decided where I will go and how to use this because I am already in a very good role in in Dell. And once in future, if I get any offer from the PSU, then I will like compare and see all the pros and cons and try to see what is best for me and what is best in the future for my career. Also, it has opened many gates, like not only in area of jobs, but doing higher studies, like doing a PhD as well. So mm, right yes, now yes. I'm having the gate score. So from now it is valid for three years. So any time mm. in these three years, I can pursue a PhD as well. Mm. Excellent, excellent. It was just That's really uh, motivating. It was just yes. to open up a separate option rather than just jumping companies in private sector. So that was the okay. main reason. Okay. okay. I mean, Abhipray, this is really motivating for everyone because you're already having the very decent job, but uh, still you prepared for the gate exam and achieved the very good rank, excellent rank. So how you manage the job and the preparation? Yeah. Because you have a, you have to handle the job, right? Uh, so you'll have the deadline. Yeah, because it's not a so special job anymore. You have to like dedicate your whole time in this. Now, yes. the, yeah, so what happened really with me was uh, the last time I prepared for gate exam, I prepared very dedicatedly and I was getting a very good rank in MEDC test series as well at that point of time as well. Now on the main exam day, I got ill and that was not my day. So I made several silly mistakes and all that thing happened. Like I was also not feeling well, so I did not get a good rank. But it was there in my mind. If that has been not been the case, I would have really scored a good rank this year. Anyways, mm -hmm. like something was good written in my life. So I, I'm in that spot. Even if I've gotten a good rank, then also I would be here only. So that was the case. After, uh, so, so last year, what I did was I prepared for several government exams that had a similar uh, similar course curriculum as to get uh, BARC, NTRO, and other exams as well. I also wrote a SEBI exam. So in that also in one of the uh, one of the phases, they require core knowledge. So so whenever I wrote those exams, I went through the one month preparation strategy. So that really helped me uh, with the inv exam environment and all the concepts were like on my tips. So coming on to the time frame where in maybe starting of the December, 
I started attempting made easy test series directly without without going through the video lectures or going through the notes. Now, after okay. giving two to three tests, my mm -hmm. score was not that good. And I assumed that this strategy is not going to work. Uh, so what I did was I went through my notes once and in a day only because I was not having very much time that I can dedicate every like, whole time in this. So in the same day only, I completed the notes. And the very next day, the morning, you maybe we have like clubbed subjects test series, like one and a half hour exam. So where you have two subjects in one. So I attempted that. So for a week, I did that and covered all the subjects. And that really helped me, giving me the confidence because I was not scoring well in those exams, but I know I am learning and I'm uh, preparing my concepts very well. So after completing that week, I regularly gave one full test every day. So, so gradually, like after uh, six to seven test series, I was getting a decent score. Uh, on 1st of January, I gave one exam in which I scored all India rank four in May DC test series and getting a score of 82 marks. So that really helped me, Excellent. that really helped me in boosting my confidence. And from there on, I was pretty much sure that I will secure a good rank. And um, I followed that for whole January and I got all India rank 76. Now one strategy I one 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 strategy I tweaked in this was so there are only twenty four uh, full tests in May DC test series so that counts to only twenty four days and I've already wasted six to seven exams earlier so I was left with only sixteen tests and I was having thirty days in January so for the remaining of the days what I did was I was having previous year gate exams so I gave one like after four to five May DC test series I wrote one one previous year gate gate paper. So that really helped me assess where I'm standing right now. And if I've gotten these much marks in actual exam, then what would be my rank? So I was calculating all these things and I was assessing myself, okay, I'm going on to the correct path and everything is going perfect. So that was okay. Sometimes it was a case that I was not able to secure good marks, but that did not demotivate me because I, I, I really like was having confidence that I will score good this time. Uh, so mm -hmm. that was the case. Okay, uh, how many hours uh, you dedicated for gate preparation and how you manage the job also, both? Yeah, so I'm assuming like, let's consider that like 9 to 6 job is there. So you mm -hmm. have 1 hour in the morning and mm -hmm. remaining 3 to 4 hours in the evening. Mm -hmm. so, so, was, so what happened with me was uh, like, once I come from work, like I start writing the full test exam, maybe around 8.30 p.m. around. So... So my motivation was like, I would complete this in one go, but that did not happen. Like, because you get calls you from work as well and from friends and family as well. So, so I really stopped my exam at that point of time. And you need to be like having a great context swapping capability in you. You need to be very agile. So once you complete that work and just came back to your gate exam, it, as if like nothing happened. So that you need to like, if you are doing a job that capability you have to develop if you are if you want to write gate otherwise it's very difficult also we have saturday and sunday so so i was having whole two days so i wrote test series in that and in the later part like i knew that i don't have much time if i'll go through the video lectures or through the whole notes then also i will not be able to complete each and everything so i had my short notes so what i do was like i go through my short notes and attempt those small small test series which uh, made if he had for each and every subject like 45 minutes test series or one and a half hour test series so what happened was like even if i didn't know the concept and i am attempting the question there might be two scenarios if it is correct and if it is false and yeah. and made if he made if he has that video lecture feature in in in, in each and every question like you can go through yes. it and it really helped me like getting clear my concepts you hmm. Sagar Pingili sir and Virala sir like for OSNC like it was it really helped me like that was the main factor I would say uh, to get into the getting into where I am today yeah okay 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 so that is really I mean very motivating Abhiprai because almost uh, every day you studied I mean working thirteen hours twelve to thirteen hours uh, every day including Saturday Sunday yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that so, it's it's just a two month period. Other like after that, I'll be free. 
So if I complete it in this two month, then I will be in a good space. Excellent, excellent. So that is uh, really motivating. Okay, excellent. And the, how is the standard of questions in the OTS? Yeah, coming to that, like when I did, uh, I was comparing my preparation from the last year, and when I was attempting test series, I was in a state of amusement. Like, why MDC has lowered the level of gate exam? <laughs> Because I was finding questions very easy, and to my surprise, I was attempting ev almost every question in each and every test, sixty-five to sixty-five. But but there were some mistakes I was doing. So like continuously following these things, the number of questions which were incorrect decreased over the period of time. But I would really like to thank Medici because they know what will come in the exam. Coming exam, I don't know how how you guys figure out. But yeah, but once I wrote the exam, I know that yeah, Medici is the boss. ఓకే <laughs> uh what strategy you followed in the test series because that is required because students are asking so they want to hear from you while attempting the test series what strategy you followed like uh, you attempted easy questions first or uh, mm -hmm. i mean uh, multiple uh, select okay. questions yeah. MSQs, how you followed what strategy you followed in the test series yeah. yeah i would i would like like to clarify this one thing i was in a space like if the exam is conducting and exam is having 65 questions then it's my mm -hmm. duty to like do each and every question or at least attempt every question so so it does not matter to me like if i am attempting the tough question first or the easy question first because at the end of the 3 hours i know i will be able to do all the questions so that belief i had so it it did not matter to me like whether i am doing the easy question first or difficult question first it there were there were instances where i left some of the questions and then came back to it afterwards but i would follow going line by line only that was the case because in the test series um, one mark question and two mark question were mixed in the main dvt test series they were not separated mm. but but in the end exam um, they they separated this and the two marks question were clubbed together and one mark question were clubbed together so i was very happy with that because i wanted to do two marks question first mm -hmm. because what happens is usually you complete two marks question in one and a half or two hours and then you are having one hour with the one mark question and that is that in the main exam it boosts your confidence okay okay that is so nice and one important question abhiprai uh, i mean uh, how you maintain the discipline because the uh, two months consistently studying 13 yeah. hours without yeah. break because i see i see like a lot of distraction from the students yes students students uh, ki, i mean uh, keep on coming to me and saying that uh, that we are getting demotivated uh, okay uh, lack of interest uh, okay uh, we are losing the interest uh, losing yeah, even even i felt the same uh, so i will i will come to that now when i was writing the test series it was taking a huge lot of effort from my end that i am investing so much time apart like writing the test and preparing for gate uh, if i am not doing this i could have utilized this time for other skill developing thing or maybe other other areas as well but if i am investing time in this then i should really get an outcome out of it so that was my key motivation like when i was doing the test and that kept me motivated also like if i'll do my part here then i will definitely get the results at the end so that was the case and i don't want it like it was in my mind i don't want a bad rank like because it will not help for me and all my efforts would be wasted this time because this was my final attempt i i was i will not write gate exam after this this is my last attempt that was also the thought process out of it so it's it was more of a last chance thing and that motivated me because if you are coming for the very first time if you are in the third year or in the final year then you still have time okay then you still have time yeah okay okay so it means like you suggest don't bring any negative thoughts into your mind okay yeah. so that is very important yeah. <laughs> okay 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 so i mean what is your suggestions for working people like i mean majority of the people who are working in companies so they never think about the gate exam very less people okay will get attracted towards the gate exam so yes. what is your suggestion to them so you advise you suggest them or uh, what yeah, is your I definitely i definitely suggest them like if they are in a 
like they have not done any higher studies and mm-hmm. they are in one year or two year job profile mm-hmm. so and they are not on a very good decent package i would say like 25 lpa or above that then mm-hmm. i would definitely suggest them to like side by side prepare for gate exam because because they, the core subjects will help in your job anyways right so mm. and if, and if you are preparing for in the private sector also it will help you in your interviews as well mm. so 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 you can easily manage like two hours time in in your whole day and you mm. can work on your concepts and build knowledge about those core subjects for the starting period for the starting period of time once you have developed enough knowledge or maybe an average knowledge as well because gate an exam where it does not require uh perfection in every subject you just need to cover every topic and if you have practiced well you will definitely get a good rank okay right Excellent. you just need to you just need to cover each and every topic that's the case and if you have already done that then then and you have the knowledge then you can attempt test series and that will really help you in assessing where you stand and how you have to prepare also i would uh, advise people to like get a mentor because you will get a second perspective as well what are your mistakes how you are doing like what needs what strategy needs to be changed in getting a good rank so that also helps excellent excellent so what is your future plan as of now any any plans as of now i don't have any such plan like uh, i will continue doing my job and mm. in future I, if i'll get any offer from any psu i will compare at that point of time whether it will be very good for me or not and mm. then i'll decide accordingly right right excellent uh, abhipray so that is really motivating because already i mean i'm tech from triple it delhi and having a very decent job in dell technologies and uh, still you prepared every day i mean almost for hours every day so that is really motivating and even inspiring for many students so from mary ji side we wish all the best for the future in the us so you. if you require any any kind of guidance or any suggestion anything okay from our side so we are ready to help you okay yeah, anywhere in the future yeah, I'll, I'll, right definitely so you are well yeah so please reach us okay so if you require any kind of support okay thank yeah. you all the best sabhi bhai i would take suggest care. everyone to like uh, uh, take mary ji course or take a test series of at least take the test series of mary ji because that will really help you like no other test series is as good as medici test series and this year also i this year also i trusted medici test series only even if i was getting easy questions then also i believe yeah medici has done something if if they are giving easy question then really in the exam exam would be easy so okay. that was the case, case for me okay excellent excellent all the best sabhi bhai take care thank you sir. thank you